Hi, I'm Rosie, and what I know now is when a flower doesn't bloom, you fix the environment, not the flower. I grew up with my grandparents from around age three to when I was around 12, 13. And then unfortunately I had to go into the care system. The one thing that I suppose sticks in my mind the most is the first night. So when I was collected by a social worker and told that I wasn't going home anymore and I wasn't going to be seeing my, my family, that was a surreal experience. It didn't really feel real to me. I was dropped off at a foster home and, and the social worker left me and I was, I was sat in a house with people that I didn't know, uh, people whose names I couldn't remember and I was too nervous to, to ask and I remember just feeling so alone and, and confused and it, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't nice. So between the ages of around 13 and 17, I experienced seven different houses and around four or five different high schools. It seemed to me that once they knew I was safe and I was in a, a foster family, that I wasn't important anymore because they knew where I was and they knew that I was all right and, and they moved on to the next, the next child, the next family. And I suppose it became more difficult when I was, I was moved about and I was, I was moved foster families. The first couple of homes, I really made the effort to try and fit in and, and really try to become a part of the family. But after I was moved the second time or the third time, I put this wall up and I, I realized, you know what, there's, there's not much point trying to get to know um, this family because I'm gonna be moved. And I, I just disconnected myself from anyone and anything around me because I had no control of my life. I didn't know where I was gonna be week to week. It affected my confidence whenever I was moved around and, and not explained why I was being moved. It, yeah, I thought it was, it was me. I thought it was something that I'd done wrong. So I had really low self-confidence. I had no trust. I was paranoid, especially in my early twenties. I found it very, very hard to trust people. I found it very hard to be settled and, and trusting that, that people were gonna continue to be my friends, that people, when they came into my life and said that they wanted to stay in it, I didn't believe them. And it, it took me a long time and it took me uh, probably until I was about 25 to really begin to trust people and let people in and believe that uh, people did love me and they weren't going to leave. I guess the reason why I like the quote so much, when a flower doesn't bloom, you fix the environment, not the flower. That means a lot to me because I feel like it's a metaphor of what I experienced when I was younger and, and feeling like there was something wrong with me as a flower. Uh, when in fact there wasn't, it was the environment. And it means a lot to me now in my professional life. I've just graduated as a social worker, so I hope that through my career, working with children and young people that are in the care system now, having that understanding, I hope that I can have that empathy with children and young people and really make a difference and, and help them to be happy and, and not feel the way that, that I felt when I was younger.